spot for dead ones? Yeah, in your pocket. In my pocket? <laughs> <laughs> you got batteries. You got uh, batteries? Yeah. Mm -hmm. batteries. After two action-packed days of fishing in the Hayward area, we would decide to change things up and fish a small river. Our first stop was to pick up some more suckers at a local bait shop and then proceed to head north. Our plan was to try and locate a very hard to find off the beaten path boat landing. And once we find it, well, if we find it, can we even get our Skeeter in? This is real sketchy right here. Very steep, not very deep, mud. Um, this is gonna be tricky here. This time of year, we like to focus on deep holes. On this section of river, a deep hole is 10 to 12 foot deep. We prefer to use Shumway Clip and Go Sucker Harness. It's super simple and fast, and less time handling the sucker allows it to live longer. Step one, place the spring-loaded clip in the nose of the sucker. Step two, remove scales from the sucker and slightly pierce through the flesh of the fish. You want to be able to rip the hooks clean from the sucker when setting the hook. We recommend you place one trouble hook high towards the top of the sucker's back and the other trouble hook towards the belly. Step three, a good styrofoam slip bobber, three inch. This allows you to set the depth and range of the sucker. Rods, 13 Fishing Omen 8-1 Heavy, 13 Fishing Concept A3, 6-3 to 1. And there you have it. There's our setup for sucker fishing. And it didn't take long before we would have some action. made our way down river. It began to widen and slow just a bit, allowing us a really good opportunity to work these deep holes more effectively. Nice fish, bud. Dave, Dave. Uh -huh. he, he is so rolled up right now. It's a nice one. It's too, a though. mess. I gotta take it easy on him, dude. He's so rolled up. Okay. Take it easy. He's That's so rolled up. Thought, man. Oh, 
just like that, pal. Way to go. Wow. That's another really cool thing with the fly. I hadn't had one that aggressive like that, but he really wanted those big hung up there. He came up. Man, that was so cool. I mean, you, you thought it wasn't that big a fish, but actually it was pretty decent. And I, that's yeah. happened to us a couple times now. Yeah. In the last few days. I mean, just kind of got to keep rolling with it in the in the fall time. You never know what you're going to get there. A lot of times they're kind of deceiving because they're so built right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's kind of it, you know. And, and the other thing we've noticed, speaking of fall, is these fish are not active, but a few minutes a day. I yes. mean, just a precious few minutes a day. We've found tiny windows. We've had shots. We've had a lot of shots, but they come quick, and you better capitalize on your opportunities because it might be another day before you get another one. So. Yeah, and you know what? One thing that, you know, is always true is that we're bringing them to the, to the boat with baits. A lot of times you've seen us catching them on suckers here, but you know what? We've been seeing these fish on baits. We've been bringing yeah. them in with bulldogs. We've been bringing them with uh, topwaters, everything today. That one, we just had a bite on the sucker. You just brought this one in on a fly, and I'll tell you what, you never know what's gonna happen yeah. right now yeah. in this time, like you say, small windows. Yeah, and we need to get back at it. Let's take, Let's a, take look a look at, at her. her. What's the difference between good and great? Good tries to get it right every time. Great actually does. With Clip Notes, we save your haircut details so you always get exactly the look you want. Great clips, it's gonna be great. We only know one thing, we never stop. You can't stop. This fish, well, it won't let you stop. It decides. We, well, we just have to be there when she does. One lucky winner will be picked to fish with the guys from Keys Outdoors. The winner will win some awesome fishing gear and a $100 Quick Trip gift card. Just log into your Quick Rewards app, click the sweepstake icon at the bottom, then choose the Musky Adventure sweepstake. Every Quick Trip visit you have could be an entry. The more visits you have, the more chances you have to win. Good luck, and we hope to see you in our boat. It's all about the muskies. Georgia's Minnesota Muskie Expo. Guides, resorts, boats, manufacturers with the latest muskie gear and special show offers. Seminars from some of the top muskie anglers. Fun for the whole family. March 8th through the 10th. Georgia's Minnesota Muskie Expo. difference between good and great good treats you like a customer great treats you like a friend from saving your haircut details and clip notes to saving you time with online check-in great clips makes your life easier just like a great friend should great clips it's gonna be great with two muskies in the boat our decision to make a move to a small river well it was paying off got him, got him, got him, got him. Oh. That's twice, Mike. <laughs> wow, what a beautiful fish. That's really cool, man. Just a nice, healthy river fish. Yeah. And for you, I you love, love it guys. on the fly, buddy, and that was what you got him on. I love it. You can just hang that thing up there in those turns. He actually ate the bottom inside turn. Yeah. She was really charging down after it, so I took a chance and kind of let it hang at the bottom, and. There you go, yeah, beautiful. We, we just came off the world championship fly fishing thing, so that was kind of neat to see. We were up at Treelands, and uh, man, what a fun, fun time that was. This really is absolutely the best country in the world right here in the Hayward area for fly fishing for muskies. Numbers of fish and beautiful fish like that. Yeah. All right, let's get her back. What a, oh, jeez. Woo. 
Gave me a little cool down at the end. I tell you what, it, we sound like a broken record. We love these small rivers. Great opportunities. Not a lot of guys out here. Actually, small water in general in the Hayward area. You saw it produce a 52 in the other episode. Uh, small water can produce giant, giant results, especially this time of year. Things are transitioning. Some of those fish that haven't seen shallow water all year are moving in. These river fish are active, active. So we got a bunch more river here. Let's see what we can do. One thing we did notice as the day went on and the water temps rose just one degree, the muskies, well, they were getting more active and definitely more aggressive. A constant change of lures for Dave and I, while Ben, he continued to work the fly. We were feeling pretty good that we would have some more action as the day went on. He was here before. I seen him acting up one thing. He must have been I'm like, God, you know, just set this thing down. Probably would have set and probably would have got him. He was holding right on to that one. Well, guys, you know, we just talk about windows, and I just had my window for the day. I just came back here in the figure eight like so, and I let her hang right there, and the thing just comes straight off the bottom. We're only in like eight feet of water. A lot of times, these muskies are just laying in the river facing up, and they just feed at a second's notice and that's what that thing did come up hit the bottom of this phantom um, that's a hex great bait in the fall got a big deep crank on her and she gets down uh, in that six seven foot range and uh, got a nice big slow wobble to it you know trying to kind of copy those suckers they're kind of just lazy this time of year just working through the water column slow and that's what i'm doing with this and uh, it just almost paid off but not quite with time running against us, we are only able to work a couple more holes before calling it quits for the day. Day 
too, it'd bring in a complete change of weather. High skies, warmer temps, a great fall day for hunting muskies. I mean, I got to see the whole thing. It's pretty neat. We're right on a shadow line here. I pulled that first one around, and the flash on the bait didn't flash. I pulled it around again. It just twinkled. Wham! Yeah. <laughs> what I'm gonna a let bite. You get, I'm going to let you what get a bite. I'm going to keep this off the thing. Well, beautiful little fish. We can still see the boat ramp and they're already biting. Dave says they do real well here with a little sunshine. We have a lot more sunshine than yesterday, so it could be a good day. Let's get her back. We got some more work to do. Well, it's day two of our river adventure up here in the Hayward Lakes area. Beautiful day, a lot more sun today. Started off with a bang, that nice fish right away, and then nothing. So it's been a late afternoon thing. We've worked our way almost as far up the river here as we're gonna go. And now the sun's high, things are warming up. See if these fish got a little more active as we work our way back down. But about the halfway point here, about to turn back, and so far just that one fish, but we're, we're grinding. There's a lot of fish here, we'll get them going. By mid-afternoon, clouds started to gather. Things were changing once again. We continued to work several deep holes that were holding many muskies. So 
yesterday I was throwing this phantom and it really has a big wide wobble and that's kind of why Mike went to the shallow invader as well as those baits have real nice wide big action the suckers kind of same thing just low and lazy just working slow through the system and uh, those baits that one there yesterday we had a fish come up and just drill it from the bottom and didn't get hooks into it but uh, hopefully today we will Ben's really been moving a bunch on the fly it's got another again once again big slow presentations stop and pause and those baits work well um, uh, as well you know dying dog things like that um, this time of year can work well and bulldogs always a fall time favorite I decided to throw a custom fly that I had made up this past winter. This would be my Baitcaster custom fly debut. turn to bring one up on the fly. Man, the power of the fly, it's pretty cool. drift of the day was a large four foot flat with a hard break that dumped into deeper water. I continued to throw my Team Rhino Outdoors custom shallow invader while Dave continued to work the Phantom hex crankbait and Ben, well, of course, the fly. Shallow invader, man. Oh, you ready? You ready? Okay, take him now, baby. Good job, buddy. Here, take this, Mike. I gotta shut the All trolling right, motor off. You know, the shallow invader is a great tool, guys, especially for small rivers that twitching. Um, they just love it. And a lot of pauses on it. We're running shallow banks and then dumping off into deep water. And when I would get off the bank, I would just give her a rip and just pause it there. Ripped her up at the boat. She came up, smoked her in the eight. But uh, Team Rhino, way to go, baby, does it. Puts another ski. How many skis is that, Dave, on this trip? Boy, we, I think we got four now. Four now, four, four fish. Four on this one. So, right on, man. We had a blast up here. So let's take a look, let's get her unpinned and let's take a look at her and see what we got. All right, guys, here you go. What a great way to finish off our five day muskie hunt up in Northern Wisconsin out of Treelands Resort. You gotta love it. This area's got a lot of opportunities from small rivers, big lakes, you name it, it's got it. Well, let's let her go back. This is the future right here. Handle with care, get them back so we can catch her again. We'll be back for sure. Well guys, this is the 
This is the bait that we caught it on. Again, a Team Rhino custom color. And I'll tell you what, guys, check out Team Rhino Outdoors. They've got all of the baits that we love to use, but in flavors of their own, that's for sure. And I'll tell you what, the Shallow Invader is a deadly tool on small rivers. The twitch uh, makes them itch, makes them bite, and uh, that's all right. So check out Shallow Invader, TRO, custom. Yeah, baby. Well guys, that concludes this week's show up here, the Hayward area, rivers, lakes, it has it all. We had a great time, Mike. I'll tell you what, we got a 52-incher, 46-incher, 40-inch pike, a lot of trophy fish this last few days. And being part of the Tree Limb Premier World Championship musky fly fishing was pretty awesome too. It was really neat to experience. I'll tell you what, we get to experience it all the time with Ben and it's really neat because he moves a lot of fish in the fall and I'll tell you what, he puts a lot of fish in the boat with us and it's fun to watch. You know guys, it is a great fall presentation, fly fishing, that stall. It just, we've seen it time and time again. We've got it on film, I don't know how many times, that Mr. Olson just puts the hammer on the fly to these fish, and it's really fun to watch. What a great week of muskie hunting in the Hayward area and staying at the Tree Lens Resort on the mighty chip. A monster 52 and a half Wisconsin giant and a bunch more nice sized muskies with tons of action. That's what I call a good old-fashioned up-north musky hunt.